We believe that for kids to be successful, they need what they learn in the classroom, an academic education, and they need a social and emotional education. And WINGS is all about social and emotional education. We're the only people in the country who are singularly focused on social and emotional learning within after school programs and youth programs. And that's a wonderful place to do it because that's where you find kids living their lives and having fights and getting their feelings hurt on the playground and having a tough time about peer pressure. And so it's a very rich environment to teach social and emotional skills to kids. And that's where we do our work. When they get to the after school program, they can be themselves. So looking for opportunities to bring in social and emotional learning becomes very easy because you might have two kids that are struggling sharing the baseball bat on the playground. And right then and there, you can take that and capitalize that as a learning opportunity. WINGS is a program that tries to give your child the other half of education. So the other half of what they do during the school day. Um, we focus on teaching them how to um, study for a test and prepare and how to interact with other people and learn to trust each other and how to build friendships and how to accept other groups of people and different opinions and points of view. Social and emotional intelligence is the whole set of skills that um, sometimes people call people skills. This is an apology pot that the groups each made one where they all had to pick a lollipop, um, which became their flower, and they had to write an apology to someone that they felt they hurt. This little girl said, I'm sorry for having a bad attitude in wings because of what happened at school. The younger kids drew pictures of things that they were sorry for. These must be two kids that are fighting, so he must have been sorry for fighting. Um, here's one, I'm sorry for pushing you off of the slide. I'm sorry for slapping you with my belt. Um, so they learned how to make an appropriate apology and not just say, you know, I apologize. They learned to admit what they did was wrong and then we talked about having them try not to do it again. We teach kids things like how to be self-aware, how to manage their emotions, how to pick friends, how to be a good friend, how to motivate themselves, how to be empathetic. Before Wings, I had a very nasty attitude and I didn't care what people said about me and I always had to have the last word, but now, it's not about that, like, I'm trying to go somewhere in my life and I ain't got time for the foolishness. Wings is such a fabulous idea. Uh, long before we had explained to us emotional intelligence, we understood there was something, some reason why not all top achievers were once A-plus students in school. People are born with, with natural abilities but they need to be enforced and ensured up and nurtured and encouraged, and that's what WINGS does. It is absolutely brilliant, and I have personally seen the transformation in these children, and we know that when that happens at a young age, so successfully that we have given them a chance for a successful future and a happy future that otherwise would, would just not have been theirs. Wings teaches these kinds of skills to kids basically by tricking them into um, learning about them. Because if you think about it, kids aren't going to sit around and listen to a lecture in a classroom about um, how to pick their friends or how to be self-aware. And so we take very small lessons and we infuse them into things that kids are doing with their lives. We not only teach them how to play basketball, but how to interact as a team, and how to win well, and how to lose well, and to be a good sport, and how to support each other with cheering and, and things like that. We do it in Homework Center by um, teaching the children not to get frustrated when they don't understand things. Make a responsible decision and raise your hand and ask an adult for help. Don't kick your chair over and, and throw a fit. So we try to bring those little lessons into everything. Sometimes we wouldn't realize what we were learning at the time. We just thought we were having fun and playing. And then later, when you're looking back on it, you realize that, wow, this taught me not to give up. What I find interesting about Wings is how creative the programs and the activity was. And when they um, 
like um, I say, when they like to sneak things in, either you can learn it or they'll sneak up on you in the long run. One of the great things about Wings was the leaders there would really help every child as an individual with their problems and help them realize their strengths and how great they are as a person. Wings is all about consistency. You have to, the kids know what to expect. The senior Wings leaders stress every day their expectations of the kids. Being a senior Wings leader has definitely um, altered the way I interact with other people, especially those I'm close to, my family and friends. Um, like, with kids, I know that I have to come with a positive attitude, I have to come energetic, and that has kind of spilled over into my personal life. I'm more energetic, I'm more positive, more optimistic about life. A lot of people want wings. A lot of people are interested in what we're doing because, I mean, if you think about it, um, what's everybody worried about? You know, you're worried about violence and behavior issues and drugs and, you know, keeping kids safe. And so there's a lot of interest in wings because everybody knows that the real fix for things like that are social and emotional skills. One of the most important things to look at is what's the relationship between social and emotional learning and traditional academic learning. And uh, the data seem to be indicating, some of it coming from our own lab, that uh, schools, for example, that have social and emotional learning programs, uh, those kids do better academically. Uh, there's also the hope, and there's increasing uh, amount of data to support it, that the learning of social and emotional skills, either in school-based programs or after-school programs, um, prevents certain problems in school, like dropout, like teenage pregnancy, like substance abuse. WINGS is not just an after-school program. Um, I found that the skills that the children were learning after school, they were able to apply in the classroom. A real consequence is that, uh, of programs like WINGS is that children become more imprinted on their schools because they can handle the stresses of the school day so much better. It means that kids do better in school grade-wise. They stay in school, they behave well, you know, they don't get into trouble. So the fact that WINGS, it seems, from preliminary study at Yale, does do a great job at, a, at increasing attachment to school, um, people have really taken notice of our work and that's important. Wings kids compared to the non-Wings kids at this school, um, it's amazing that you walk down the hallway and the Wings kids are so friendly and to everyone and you know the non-Wings kids might not have those social skills to wave to somebody or say hello or pick up a piece of trash when they see it on the floor. A Wings kid is a better citizen because they, um, unlike the rest of the kids in their school, um, they're being challenged to think in new and different ways. The big vision is that every child will get a good social emotional education. And what we're specifically, what's in, what's in our sights is to make sure that every after school program in the country has a good intentional social and emotional education program infused within what they're doing. Haze and Praise is one of our circle time games where the entire Wings family makes a huge circle around the cafeteria and we allow certain kids to come up and give praise to another Wings family member. Hey Destiny, well, can I give you some praise? You are my nicest friend. Hey Diosh, can I give you some praise? I want to thank you for checking my heart. Hey, Jordan, can I give you some praise? Thank you for helping me with my math work. Hey, Amari, can I give you some praise? Thank you for playing with me outside. I'd like for people to really get how important it is for children to get a social and emotional education and how important it is in terms of the lives of children so that as a result of that understanding that they will do whatever they can to make sure that kids get a good social and emotional education whether it's after school or in school whether they're 
investing money in it or investing expertise in it or simply um, trying to make sure that kids they love get it. That's really what we want from people. When I came to the WINGS program, I was 10 years old and I was very shy and kept to myself, wasn't outgoing. Now I am pre-law and I hope to practice environmental law and I think the WINGS program gave me that confidence. WINGS is a way of helping children communicate. It's fundamental as math and science in terms of turning a child into a capable adult and productive citizen. The kids love it. They love coming to WINGS. They love the senior WINGS leaders. The senior WINGS leaders love the kids. WINGS taught me to be myself and be independent. You can always see it in their eyes. You see that in people in general. You see that they that they are buying what you're selling them. WINGS is a world-class idea. WINGS is something that can be, and I believe will be, replicated around the world. It works every child in every community and every part of our world needs it.